Prepare yourselves for the sound of happiness. Oh yeah. So, in case you haven't guessed, I've got something new to show you here on the title screen. For one thing, I got version 1.05. I don't actually know how long that's been out, but last Thursday, they came out with the Guadalcuna Expansion Pack, or Append 03, as it shows here. It's not going to have any changes in the first playthrough of the game, but in the second playthrough there will be a new character and some more things to do with the Yuiki. Come to think of it, they have no relation on the plot whatsoever. I went and took a look at the requirements for the endings. The four Yuiki are entirely unrelated. Which really surprised me. Anyway, let's get into what we need to be doing. First things first, having sex. So Avaro is working in his workshop, as usual, and he gets the feeling of someone staring at him from behind. Gives him shivers down the back of his neck. This is, yes, without a doubt, someone watching him. Someone. So he knows that it's someone watching from the entrance to the workshop, at least that area. He's leaving them alone for the moment, but it keeps continuing, so he takes a look behind him. Now you see it, now you don't. So, they were visible and then they hid. So, as expected. Although she tries to hide, he was able to see her tail and also the hem of her distinctive outfit. He wonders it aloud, but not so she can hear him. That perhaps because her body's gotten bigger, she isn't as used to it yet. You see, even as she does try to hide, her tail and wings are still visible fairly easily. If her body had been her normal size, it wouldn't have been a problem, but now she's bigger. So, katharui has been doing this for a while, lately. So while Alvaro has been working in his workshop, she's been watching him, sim, watching him clandestinely from the shadows. You've got a stalker, aren't you happy? And when she's doing it, it's always in the somewhat grown form. For some reason, Navarro feels the need to coin a new word for somewhat grown form. Adolescent is fine, really. But whatever. In any case, when she's in that form, she's always a bit weird. At least to Navarro. As Afia told Navarro before, her body has also grown, but her feelings haven't caught up just yet. Uh, in addition to the unpleasant order which she gave him. In any case, Avaro was planning on leaving her alone. But if this gets much worse, well, at this point she's already visiting him almost every day. So he's actually thinking maybe he should talk to her. So in order that he won't be noticed, he casually gets up. So Katarito's hiding, but he knows where she is.
So this is her peeking out and not seeing him for once. Hey, oh, what's up? And he slaps her on the back. <laughs> he was trying to startle her a bit. But she gets real startled. And tries to run away. Okay, that way is... <laughs> So she was hiding amongst some of a pile of Avaro's materials and darts out, almost running into a shelf. She dodges that only to land in another pile of materials. Now, ah, whatever, I'll leave it to your imagination. Look out! Oh, here we go again. So she apparently crashed, and I've always seen if she's all right. Okay, her being wounded is apparently not the problem. I've always thinks back to the first time he met this form of her. Yeah, in any case, her face is getting all red. Like she's embarrassed or something. So she apologizes. Ah, oh, no, if you're alright, then it's not a problem. So she looks at him for a moment and then looks away. Pretty much like usual. Navarro hasn't had a lot of chance to get up this close to Calterito in this form lately. Or at all, really. She usually runs away. But he's going to start to decide to ask her. Worst case scenario, he's going to embarrass himself, but, well... He thinks to himself before changing his mind. It'd be too sudden to ask it. So let's pussyfoot around the issue for a bit. Okay, so lately you've been coming to the workshop a lot. Is there anything you need from Avaro then? Okay, no, and sorry for interrupting your work and things. Anyway, Alvaro doesn't mind. But there shouldn't be any need for you to sneak around like that. So, anything you want to talk about? If there's something you want, or you want me to improve your stuff or whatever? No, that's not it. She mispronounces it a bit, which of all catches on. This latter part, so janakte, comes out kind of like so danakte. So danakte. Hmm. I don't see that it's such a big mispronunciation that. You need to call attention to it, though. Okay, in any case, if you don't need anything, that's all right. But I've always gotten the impression like you don't like him, lately especially. <laughs> okay, that isn't the case. She denies that speculation on Avaro's part unexpectedly strongly. Oh, is that so? But you don't really meet eyes with him very often, and when you do, you run away. Uh, you tried to run away this time, too, didn't you? Uh, well... Ha. She still doesn't want to say whatever. She tries to make an explanation and looks at Avaro repeatedly, but... 
This is what you get. Another apology. And she says she thinks that she's been being a borrow a bother to Avaro. But Well, anyway, he doesn't think of it as a bother. You don't need to worry about it, so whatever it is, spit it out. So if I was trying to reassure her, but she only seems more troubled by this. And seeing her face looking like that making a face like that. Avaro doesn't have the heart to push the issue any further. In other words, he's not going to come out and ask what Fia told him to do. <laughs> so anyway, whatever it is, you don't need to worry about it. Just let it all out and say whatever selfish thing is on your mind. It's a bit different in Japanese in that saying what you want is considered selfish. Waga mama. So it has a different connotation in Japanese is all. Waga mama. So selfish things. Like saying what you want is considered selfish in Japan. Weird. Anyway. So, you shouldn't keep it bottled up inside you. So, if there's something you want to say, you can say it. And, Avora would be happy as well if Katarita would say what she's really feeling. At the very least, Avora thinks it would be many times better than being avoided for a reason that he doesn't understand. So is it really okay to talk to him about it? Yeah, fire away. The fire away phrase that Avar used in this particular point was rem reminiscent of Fia's phrasing. Eh, he just used it on accident, I guess. So anyway, she looks at him directly and her face gets all red. But she says, So lately it's been weird for her. Since she's been able to turn into this form, things are completely different from before. Well, yeah, that would happen. The various sensations would change. So, that's not quite it. Her body is different, sure, but it's rather her feelings. Like, the inside of her chest starts to hurt. Even though I've always told her they would have that it would be all right to tell him anything. She's still almost crying as she confesses this. So, when she looks at Avaro, she gets a sharp pain in this area. Sharp pain? This area? So she places her palm on her abdomen and rubs it a bit. And she does get a bit of a pained expression on her face. So she gets this pain when she looks at Avaro, when she hears his voice, 
or even when she thinks about him. So on the inside she's hurting and it feels kind of warm and stuff. And now as Avaro is holding her, it just continues hurting. So apparently he is still holding her like that. But they decided to give the stand-up poses for no expressional variation. So Avaro can see where this is going. And I mean, come on, Fia told him this is where it was going. But he's still swallowing his words. Oh, here we go. He swallows his words and Fia's words are running through his head. Of course, he's desperately trying to suppress those thoughts. What a dipshit. Okay, so back to the subject, he says, about his proof that Katarito is growing up. Then, if this continues even more, does that mean she'll become an adult even faster? Pretty much saying she wants to explore these feelings. Okay, so... Katharito trusts Avaro to the depths of her heart, as they says here. And that's why she can talk about this stuff with him. So, he doesn't want to betray her expectations. So he decides to guide her to, in becoming a perfectly natural adult, it says. I would say he's trying to guide her in a particular direction. In any case, this is his response. He doesn't know about her becoming an adult faster like this. But he doesn't think it's a bad thing, so you don't need to deny it. So he's desperately trying to get an answer that will keep her from <laughs> I don't know, uh, raping him or whatever. But she's not buying it. Oh, busted. She knows he just lied. She can tell. She's not a child like she was before. Uh, no, it's not a lie. <laughs> Alvaro didn't tell a lie there. Okay, but Avaro didn't tell her the whole th truth. I mean, she put out her real feelings in as much as describing the physical sensations in her body are real feelings. Yeah, sure. But Avaro didn't tell Katarito here what he was really feeling. Uh, yeah. Avaro has no words to counter that. Okay, sorry. That wasn't his intention. So he lowers his head. And... Instead of responding directly, Katarito lends more of her body weight into Avaro's arms. So, it feels good when Avaro touches her, so she'd like him to pet her some more. Well, if that's what you want, any time. Eh. And with it, so we get into sex. Avaro starts it out nice and wholesome like you might expect, but... Well, she directs his hands directly to the places he doesn't want to go. 
In any case, eventually he gets horny and they do it. In any case, I'm skipping ahead now. Okay, so they had sex. What was really ironic about that was that in the beginning, well, from through the whole part, Katarito was physically running away from Avaro. But Avaro was emotionally running away from her. She, I mean, he didn't want to see her as an adult. So he kept trying to avoid the issue, like a dumbass. But, well, it's a porn game. Eventually he had to give in, right? Alright, next is Mikshuana. So this is another plan of attack for making friends. She's reading a book again. The last book was green, wasn't it? In any case, she's gotten kind of interested in human culture, for some reason. Alright, so, let's rise above the failure we had last time and give it our best, huh? So, was last time really a failure, in the end? That's right, she had confidence in it, but... I've always having a tough time telling her the truth on this. So, what shall we do this time? As far as making a conversation interesting goes, she thinks that adding good stories and being good at stories would be the best way. Uh, yeah, but... I've always thought of something. Mikshuan always refers to people with formal language, right? Well, you know how Japanese people have all these different ways of addressing people. Mikshuan is pretty well up the formality range. In any case, if you chose a manner of expression that was a little more easygoing, then it would probably add some charisma to you, he thinks. He's thinking that if she could really have a softer expression on her face as she talks, it would do good. Change her manners, huh? <laughs> yes, the manner... The mannerisms you have all the time. You made that for, in order to, in response to your surroundings, right? That's right. She crafted it up in order to fit, in order to meet with her position. Could you tell that she was saying it at her highest level of formality? Her highest level of seriousness, at least. So she's all noble and stern for her underlings, and also so that she can live up to her superior's expectations. Back in the beginning, I've always thought that it it was just a natural attitude that she had. So, this time, why don't you craft yourself a form of expression that will fit in with these surroundings? Even if you only change your sentence endings, it would be pretty effective. So, why don't you give it a shot, just once? All right, she sees. If that's how it is. So she's going to craft her outer appearance in order to meet her objective. 
it is a truly effective way of doing things. Yeah, okay, I'm always glad she agrees. So, how about it? If we've decided on a course, are we going to part ways again and let you study? Well, then she thinks that it's not necessary for her to take time to practice. She can put this into effect immediately. In fact, just now she got her hands on a, a new book which she thinks you, she can use. Is it just me or did she suddenly become quiet in this one line of hers? Anyway, in this theater type book that she found out in the square, it has recorded several different types of personalities. So she can draw from this store of knowledge. Yeah, well, of all things, it's wonderful how focused you are about your studies. Passionate. I should have used passionate instead of focused. But Navarro still gets a bad feeling about this. Maybe it's his, ima maybe it's his imagination. So let's give it a shot. Do you want to be prepared? Yeah. I want to be prepared. I want to be prepared. I no, she is always prepared. She won't hesitate in jumping into an unknown world. Prepared, huh? You see, I've already used one word for preparations, and she used another entirely. I've already used Junbi, which you might think of as preparations for, I don't know, going on a trip or whatever. Mikshirana said, prepared, as in kakugo, what you might use if you were going to say, I'm prepared to die. So yeah, she uses serious words too. Yeah, it gives a stronger feeling to her, but maybe she's being too serious here. Alright. So, for a practice partner, it'll be Avar, right? Well, she can't always rely on him. This time we're going to try it out on some passerby. Well, it would get repetitious if we kept having a borrow be a dumb shit. Are you alright doing this without any practice though? Hey, she told Avara, didn't she? She's prepared for this. So she's going to step out here, and she's sure she'll get the, get a hold of how it works. Uh, good. In that case, let's see what you can do. So, returning back to some place where other people actually pass through, we wait for someone we know. There's one. Or maybe she was expecting this particular person. You get that impression. I get that impression. Okay, is that alright? You're not nervous? Well, in terms of people who are really considerate of others, I don't think we could pick someone more appropriate. Uh, there was the fact that she and Eel have caught Mikshuana staring at them before. Alright, Mikshuana says it's possible as long as she doesn't become self-conscious. Tamis, I 
And furthermore, she wanted to get along well with, with Mikeu in particular. So this is a good chance to give it a shot. Alright, she'll set herself to a appropriate personality. Done! Here she goes. That was easy, wasn't it? So, Mikshana heads out and Havaro hides. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, Mikeu, good morning. Nice weather today is again. <laughs> good answer. Good morning. So, she's pretty well surprised and stands there kind of shaking a bit. Yeah, that's totally natural. Her personality is completely changed. Yeah, she's... Mikshuana has a talent for messing up. So anyway, do you have any plans for today? I've got a plan for Avaro. He needs to come out there, put you in a headlock or an arm lock. Or wing lock and get you the hell out of him. Hey, how do you put an angel in a wing lock anyway? Let's see. It doesn't seem like bird wing anatomy. Normally they have oh, the shoulder joint and elbow joint about here, and this would be the wrist joint, but it's all one big curve, so you can't say it's a regular segmentation like that. That is more like oh, uh, what the spinal column can do, or tail. Now how would you put that in a lock? I guess it depends on how flexible it is. If it's particularly stiff, you could do it just like an arm lock. Just wrap your arms around it and start reefing it. But if it's more flexible, if it were like rope length, you'd have to grab one line, or grab one end of it and wrap around. If you pulled with the right leverage, you could get it snagged up on you entirely. Now, of course, if it's between the two extremes of versatility, I think the best thing to do would be to use her own body against her. Say, grab right about here and pull it up over, under this armpit, across her chest, and over her other shoulder. And that should be able to suffice as a pretty good wing walk. And then get her the hell out of there before she embarrasses herself any further. Okay, Mikio says that today she planned on studying her magic books. So, that sounds interesting. If it's alright with Mikio, she'd like to do it with her. Michiwana, too, wants to study her magic and begin and get a little stronger. Furthermore, she's always wanted to get along better with Mikeu, so would that be alright? It's okay, but Mikshana. Uh, she's still overacting a little bit. It's not as bad as before, but it's bad. Yes. So, what's happened to her? Is she all right? If your stomach hurts or anything, then you should immediately get some rest. Ah, Mikio is considerate of others, isn't she? So, 
So, Mikia's going to go call someone. Like Fia or Avaro. Just wait here a bit, would you? Hmm, well, that wasn't expected. At least not by Mikshuana. So, Mikio's gotten all seriously worried about her. So... Revert to normal and run away. So, she's sorry. Her stomach pains are quite violent, so she's going to excuse herself. Okay then, take care. <laughs> uh, so, Miksha on Elias and Mikio just stands there looking dumbfounded. So, let's return back to Ovaro and talk about how it went. Okay, so how was that? How? Huh? Hard to put into words. So Avaro doesn't put it into words and says, You know best of all how well it went, don't you? Well, yes, that is exactly right. She too gets the feeling like she failed a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Avoro gets the feeling that that change was too extreme. But she felt that that, ex that that personality was most most suited to dealing with a girl of that age. Is that so? Yeah, Avaro doesn't think that you're wrong. Avaro silently apologizes to her. Like, not to her face, just silently. That he doesn't have the courage to convey the truth to her. You stupid. Ugh. Anyway. Should we give up for today and think of Savantra method? Yeah. No, we haven't had enough of Mik Mikshuana making a fool of herself. Oh, no, that's not quite what she said. No, the result this time is because she hasn't done it enough times. It'll be alright if she tries it just one more time, right? Uh, well, if you want to. Avaro's here for you. Alright. Avaro thanks him and... Right away there's a good subject. With this, she's off. Hey, hey, you're not really not hit. Oh boy. On the one hand, Avaro is scared of what's going to happen, but he's also looking forward to it a bit. Oh crap. Oh, double oh crap. So, you talking to Deedham? Deed isn't used to being uh, addressed like this. So he looks around trying to get out of this. But make sure Anna's really talking to him. So, is there something on Mikshana's face? Since he's apparently staring at her, she's getting a bit embarrassed. 
Uh, well, you see, it should be pretty obvious. And this is bothering Deet, but he doesn't know how to respond. Okay, Aurora's going to help. That's good, right? He doesn't want to let a, let Mikshuana's preparations go to waste. So he waves Aurora down. He waves Deet Helm down so that Mikshuana won't see him. Okay, please, play along with it. Kind of hand motions. And apparently D gets the message, so because he lets out a big sigh. My So de Nanka Urusama Nyozga. Okay, alright. Then you have some business with him? Okay, so she's going to go into the conversation. Indeed, has lots of followers, right? Ah. And yes, he commands the Aquatic Beasts Vanguard. So, that's impressive. Just looking at him a little, he can... Mikshuana can tell that he is highly respected by his followers. And she thinks that's really cool. <laughs> well, in that... In that regard, Mikshuana is even more impressive. After all, she's been entrusted with an entire region of this of this continent by Mausteria. That's no small thing. <laughs> so if that's the way Deethelm thinks about it, she's glad she tried so hard. Oh really. So she's going to continue. And so, she has something to ask him. So, she was thinking that he could teach her a little bit about commanding his underlings. Okay, sure, he don't mind. It's not like he has anything to hide about it. Okay, thanks. So, commanding underlings isn't such a hard thing. So, you need to show a firm attitude. Since you're standing at the top, you can't falter in your actions. And then, people know that it will think that it's alright to be following you. And then you need to get results. Impressive enough for the organization you lead. And then naturally, People will think that you're somebody that it's all there won't be a problem in following. <clears throat> Alright then. She gets it. She understands what you're getting. So thanks a bunch, she'll do her best. Alright then. It's good that it'll be of use to you. But, Mikshana, 
you shouldn't try too hard either. Even now, you seem kind of overworked. He can see. Well, I've all signaled him to go along with it, but naturally it's bothering him. So, although he's going a long way around getting to the point, what the hell is up with the with that change there? Is basically what he's asking. So, um, is how she is right now kind of weird? Well, he thinks it's all right. In any case, she's got a... She's got a good face. I don't know how to translate that. I'd say that her... She's got good expressions. But anyway. And with just a little work, she can change her mood just like that. So, thanks. You're making her blush. So, Mikshana from time to time wants to try out a change of mood and detail things, there's nothing wrong with that. But it would be best if she didn't do that for in front of her underlings. You understand the reason, right? Hi. Well, oh, we broke her. Alright, back to normal. Uh, can we say this is her safe mode? In any case, she has other determined that there isn't any need to test this further or that her underlings might see her. Hmm. So she understands and thank you for the consultation you've given. And with that, she excuses herself. And Detail says it was fun. So back to Avaro. She's deep in thought on this one. So, she's failed again. So, after all, just changing her manner of speech didn't meet her objective. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, Avaro. Well, Avaro apologizes for thinking that it would be a good idea. And he thinks to himself that it wasn't just her manner of speech that she changed, but her entire personality. She's just trying too hard and being too extreme. From Avaro's point of view, she just needed to make a little change to her expressions and be a bit softer. But she's having trouble getting it through to this angel here. So she'll deeply reflect on this. So let's call it a day. Thanks a bunch. Okay, next time you have the opportunity, let's try again from step one. Okay then. You know, the conversation she actually did would would have been pretty good. The words, even the words themselves would be pretty good. If her voice tone weren't just so awfully over the top different from usual. In any case, after parting ways, Avaro goes straight to a certain person. 
he needs to have words with the, them immediately. Uh, hey, thanks a bunch. So, what the hell is that? Don't tell me you put her up to that, did you? Uh, no. In any case, I've always cooperating with her, but that was Mikshuana's choice. Herself. Is that so? Mikshuana herself chose to do that. So, the two of them think about what happened. It was pretty nice. Huh? Yeah, that was a good thing. Are we really saying that? They don't exchange a whole lot of words on it, but... They think that... Her being sincere and cute and the little sister type she was putting on wasn't all bad. Ah, uh, these two, jeez. It's true that when I did my first trial run of that, I thought that what he did for Mikio and what he did for what she did for Mikio and what she did for Deedhelm were two di were just two runs with the same personality. But listening to them again, they were actually considerably different. Still ridiculously over the top and excessive, but in different ways. Okay. Rosalina wants to do it again today. What is it? I think you can guess. So it's the fortune box. So please, just a normal ex, a normal, a normal resort would be fine. She isn't asking for anything more. So she says this kind of like she's praying and draws her fortune. And she looks at the result with. A completely expressionless face. <laughs> uh, it seems like she's getting tired of this kind of thing. So, why does it have to turn out like this? This thing can't even grant the slightest of wishes that she has. It's a little demon box. Oh, so it turned out bad again. So, Avaro. Uh, yeah. What is it? The probabilities are not manipulated in this, are they? Which is a nice way of saying, did you rig this thing? Ah, uh, no, absolutely not. It's all up to the luck of the person who draws. Although he made it, he definitely isn't manipulating. It isn't something that can manipulate the outcome. He swears it. But for it to be this bad this many times in a row, it does bother him. Yeah. <laughs> So, Rosaline, I don't suppose maybe there's something haunting you? Yeah, make it her fault, Avaro. <laughs> you jerk. So, that's an interesting theory. To think that a spirit mage would be haunted by something. <laughs> so, 
呪いに蝕まれているんだわ So, she's fine. This isn't bothering her. In any case, she expected this outcome. Aha, 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 aha. It seems that no matter what happens and, what, and how much time passes, she's always laboring under a curse. Oh man, she's gotten pretty pessimistic. This is not good. This is a not good series of. This is a not good direction of momentum. And particularly, she gets in a bad mood whenever she does this. Of all, you shouldn't make such horrible boxes. Seriously, make better boxes. So, that will be it. Well, why don't I take a look at the next map real quick? Oh, great. Mystery enemies, uh, regular stuff, more regular stuff. So, with that, I will see you next time. Wait, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Hmm, something was bothering me, but I guess it'll have to wait.